Hello. <laughs> this video is for Erin in response to her request for more videos. After watching the Joe Dispenza Abundance Challenge, she requested more videos about abundance and the scarcity mindset. And the first video that I recommended for her was the scarcity and clutter uh, video. And I just had to share this because look, it's like lights up. I got this for Christmas one year and I was going to ask you to give me thumbs up or thumbs down whether uh, I should keep it or trash it. But as I was about to put it on my head, I just snapped it in half. So problem solved. I think it's uh, safe to throw this away. Um, I don't think it's recyclable. It's still lighting up. It's fun. But anyway, today in the abundance challenge vlog, I want to talk about a few things. The main thing that I want to talk about is that feeling of fear and like an imposter or like we don't fit in. I had an interview a couple of days ago with Sam Bennett. She is the author of Start Right Where You Are. Love the interview and I will try and post a link to that somewhere, either a card or a link in the description. It is an absolute must listen interview. I released it early on YouTube. So if you are a subscriber, you probably already got a notification about that. If you're not a subscriber, uh, why not? You should subscribe. Click subscribe. Okay. In that interview, we talked about the idea that everybody, we all as humans share similar fears. We all worry that we're not good enough. We all worry that we're not ready. There's always going to be a little piece of us like, oh, someone's going to find out that I really don't belong here. And I really noticed that yesterday I'm taking this improv class and I went and I just felt like I didn't fit in. I felt like I wasn't very good and everybody else was so good and I felt like I was not good. And in the past, I might have not continued on because I felt so uncomfortable. But I'm going to continue with it and I've decided that my goal now is just to show up and participate. I don't have to be good. I don't have to even have fun, although that would be preferable. I just have to go and participate and know that everybody's probably feeling a little bit similar. And one of the things I was sharing this with my therapist today, who has a PhD in psychology, and she said, you know, that's actually a really good sign when we feel that fear and that discomfort, it's a good sign that we're on the right track. And she said that when she was in grad school, she felt the same way. She felt like she didn't belong. She didn't know what she's doing. And when she's working with very successful hospital administrators or other PhDs and, and famous people in that field, she always feels a little bit nervous. And that's because we care. It's because we care about what those people think. And the thing is, think about this, that I notice that when I'm around people who aren't as confident, it's easy for me. And I'm kind of the leader of the group and it feels very comfortable for me. But then I get into a group like the improv group where people are actors and they're outgoing and they have lots of experience in that field. And so of course I'm going to feel a little bit nervous because they're much more confident and we are on more equal footing or perhaps maybe socially they might be doing a little bit better than me. So there's nothing wrong with that and it actually is a good sign and we need to push through that discomfort because the fact is that everybody feels that way when they reach a new level, when they're just on the cusp of breaking through to a new level, whether that's socially, financially, emotionally, in their relationships, it's a bit of a risk. And risk is scary. But if we never feel uncomfortable and we make sure that we're always feeling safe, guess what? We're really not gonna grow, we're gonna stagnate. And in the short term, that might feel most comfortable, but 
you look back 10, 20 years from now and you're going to feel pretty crappy. So I hope that that was um, helpful to you. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up if you want more about this topic. And thank you to Erin for specifically asking for more about scarcity and abundance. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, let me know what you want because... I'm here for you. I mean, of course, this is entertaining for me and I like doing vlogs, but without you, there'd be no YouTube channel. So let me know what you most want to hear about. Okay. Lots of love. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And uh, it's December 1st today. So happy holidays, whatever kind of holidays you celebrate. Have a wonderful December. Lots of love. Namaste.